This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Gumardan Salting. So guys, in this session, I'm going to cover a topic called sample document. Generally, uh, as per me, it was not a very much important topic and uh, that's what it was not the part of my course contents neither I was covering this topic in the live classes also. Uh, but uh, recently, recently means yesterday itself, uh, this question, there were questions from this uh, sample document was asked during interview because earlier also my student keep on saying that record a video on sample document, tracking document and all. And I thought it's end user transactions, which is not much important. So I keep on ignoring. Now I thought like, let me record a session on this because now uh, we don't know the mood of interviewers and all, right? So first of all, I'll explain what was the questions, uh, you know, what question was asked from this uh, sample document and uh, I'll explain the answers also later and then we'll proceed further. I'll let you know. So the question was, can we reverse a sample document? Here was the question that can we reverse the sample document? This was the question. Guys, let me open uh, here the Excel sheet and even SAP also. So this was the question that can we reverse the sample document so let you know everything so now okay uh, before explaining the answer of this one can we reverse a sample document first of all i'll have to explain what is this sample document so questions related to sam sample document then the first question which comes in your mind is what is sample document or what is the use of sample document okay so here is the answer guys sample document is a kind of template which is used as a reference for transaction posting i'll tell you guys whichever transactions we are posting okay whichever transactions or is uh See, for example, we are going to set up certain master data, GL master data itself. So if you create a new GL master data, everything we have to fill up from scratch in the sense from beginning. But if you are going to set up this GL master with the reference of already created with already created a GL account, then what is happening, guys? the 90% of the things we are not going to do in the sense like only few changes need to be done and remaining 90%. So it is just like a copy in the sense we are going to copy. Let's suppose, uh, for example, we are having rent GL that is expense under expense account group we have set up. Now we have to set up a very similar nature of GL called audit fee. So now here, if you are going to create audit fee, so instead of creation of this audit fee, what is happening guys, we are going to copy the rent GL. So it is called creating as a reference. We have taken reference of rent GL, right? So this is how what is happening. Almost every setting will be same. Only the nomenclature in the sense GL uh, name, short, long text and short text is only going to be changed. In the same way, if you talk about sample document, what is happening, guys? It's a kind of template which is used as a reference for transaction posting. Forget about this template. You can say sample document is used as a reference for transaction uh, posting okay the simplest definition will be we can type like this that is going to be sample document is used as a reference for transaction posting the way we are using gl account for creation gl account our uh, existing gl account as a reference to create a different gl account similar nature of gl account right so in the same way here, let's suppose uh, the sample document is also going to be used as a reference for similar kind of transaction posting. I'll just quote an example here. Let's suppose there are there are certain transactions. Okay, there are certain transactions which in which is like getting posted in SAP system frequent frequently every day. 
or every alternative day, right? So now what is happening, guys? If you talk about that transactions, uh, like say for example, I'll tell you. Now, if you talk about uh, like my in my previous implementations, uh, the client, whatever the client, what to say, their corporate office was there. Okay, whichever the organizations, let's suppose it is XYZ Limited. Okay, I'll not, not quote the name here. Uh, it's XYZ Limited. So their corporate office, in the corporate office, they are maintaining a very big park. Okay, very big park and garden was there. So what is happening, guys, for that, uh, they used to, in order to uh, do the maintenance of those things, uh, every day they knew they need certain labors and also local la local labor, labor used to come and they used to, take care of these all things whatever the you know what rings and uh, you know taking out the you know mint in the sense like to keep to do all this maintenance and all they used to invite the local laborers and all and they used to pay on a daily basis okay they used to pay on daily basis so for that this gardening like like whatever this expenses was related to this maintenance of this garden and all in the sense park and all uh, it was like mapped through cash journal. What is this cash journal will be? It's, it's like a separate topic, guys. Now, so it was it was getting uh, like whatever the transactions were taking place that was getting recorded through cash journal. Later on, they said like no, we need to have a separate GL for this gardening expenses and all, and that is going to be posted separately now if you talk about then okay let's suppose this is the zero account on daily basis what they used to do guys they used to release certain amount in the form of checks itself the to the whatever the from admin department there was a guy who used to take care of these all things so now they used to release let's suppose they have released a check worth of 20,000 rupees or 15,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees to that fellow and that fellow is going to uh, take care of all these expenses and all. So now let's suppose today uh, uh, that guy has like given an amount of 10,000 rupees to those people, right? So now here let's suppose, okay, so this is, this year is going to be debited, right? And here we are having bank account or even if they're going to pay through cash and all and if they're not having cash journal, let's suppose, then what is happening directly they are going to post here by instead of bank, they are going to post cash account. Okay, but okay, so here they used to release the checks to that particular guy. So bank account is going to be credited. Let's suppose here 10,000. Okay. Now, so uh, it's it's one example like that. We can have several, you know, kind of transactions, guys, which is so taking place on regular basis. So what is happening here? This gardening expenses, guys. If these kind of transactions are getting posted very frequently, okay, every day or every alternative day because they used to invite these all levers and all, and they are going to make payment. So now, what is happening, guys? Every day these transactions are getting posted. If you talk about at the time of posting the transactions, whatever the other other details are there, whether the narration field is there, whether any uh, cost center, profit center, business area, whatever ABC they want to keep, it will be every time it is going to be same only. The only difference is that the amount. Let's suppose today it's 10,000. Tomorrow it could be 5,000 only. Okay. Uh, day after tomorrow it could be more because it is okay some some technical issues were there guys i think in the uh, automatically it was okay so now here now here what is happening <coughs> Now, uh, I think in between the voice was okay. So now here, let's suppose so 
So I have quoted the example of this gardening expenses, right? Now here, let's suppose on daily basis, they have to post these transactions. Okay. So instead of posting, instead of like uh, giving all the details daily basis, you know, like whatever the details, as I said, like text or whatever this uh, elements like cost center, profit center, business area, whichever other details they want to give. Okay, on daily basis they have to give. So instead of giving the full detail, what will happen, guys? For such kind of transactions, a sample document is going to be created, and that sample document will be used as a reference. That sample document is going to be used as a reference to post these kind of or generally for these transactions. Instead of like uh, giving all the details from a scratch, what will happen? They are going to take that document number as a reference and then easily people are going to post these transactions. How that I will let you know. First of all, I'll have to log in here and then I'll let you know how it is going to happen. Let me log in first. Now here, let me log in. Okay, so uh, now, first of all, go to FS00 because we need to have, we need to have this GL account and uh, your company code is this time TM02 and here already we are having this expense account so for this one we are having to right now I just do one thing guys since we have we need gardening expenses right so now what will happen we are going to create that GL by taking reference of a rent GL Okay, we'll create this gardening expenses GL by taking reference of rent GL. Now what will happen if you click on this copy button, select this rent GL, rent GL and click on copy button. <coughs> now look at here, look at here guys. So uh, like let, let's suppose if this reference GL account, here reference GL means which re this, we are going to create a new GL, remove this number. We are going to create, set up a new GL account. What is that? Gardening expenses, right? Now here, the reference GL number is reference GL number is 4000. It means we are taking reference of rent account, right? And which GL we are going to create? Give the next GL number. 4000 and 4001 is already created. So 4002 I'm going to give. So by taking reference of rent account, I'm going to set up a new GL account, right? This is what the use of reference, taking something as a reference, okay? Indirectly, we can say that we are going to copy so now instead of rent, rent account, let's suppose I have given gardening expenses account. Okay, look at here, remaining all the settings will be same. Just save it. So how quickly we are able to set up this real account, guys? It's, it's so quick, right? Now, <coughs> now what will happen? <coughs> so we have created the GL account. Now the next setting is we have to set up a number range also. Okay, guys, for create creation of this sample document, we need to have a special number range supposed to be created. No, any other number range is going to be triggered by system. It will be a different number range. I'll just let you know F B N one N. FBN1, not FBN1. FBN1 is the transaction code. Here, give your company code and then click on interval. <clears throat> so, here we are going to set up a number range. Which number range, guys? Click on plus interval. X2, always X2, guys. Always X2. There is There should not be any other number range. System is going to trigger always X2 itself. Let's suppose I'm going to give this 9,000 to 9,100, okay? Now, just save it. So always, this range can be, any range can be given here, okay? But 
now here the number range in the sense whatever number range code is there that will be always x to itself it cannot be 0 1 0 2 0 4 or x1 or a1 a2 a3 nothing always x2 in background whenever you post sorry in, in let let's suppose if you are going to post whichever the sample document in background automatically system is going to search here x2 number range only if x2 number range has been set up then only system is going to generate the sample document number or else it won't be generated i'll show you guys here now will post a sample document guys how to post a sample document okay we can use transaction code uh, this one better to use fbm1 itself okay fbm1 even we are having f-0 also let me try yes by f-01 also we can create this sample document and by fbm1 also we can create the sample document the only difference is here in f-01 look at here sample document by default system is going to suggest a document type ab if you don't want to keep this document type you can change the document type and if you are going to use fbm1 fbm1 then here system is not going to suggest the document type you have to give it manually right so there is no much differences guys anyone can be used let's suppose i'm going to set up this sample document sample document by any you are using any of the transaction code guys here document type i have given sa okay now because whatever example i have given here that is a normal uh, what to say general voucher you can say jv you can you can say so sa document type i have given apart from this the company code everything has been given if you want to give certain details here in reference, let's suppose I've given. Okay, now debit, gardening expenses account debit, so it's 40, bank account credit 50. Now, so here 40, gardening, gardening expenses 4002, and press enter. And here, which amount, guys? Let's suppose any amount. So I'm going to keep like let's suppose 500 and apart from this if you want to give the business area cost center profit center whatever details you want to give okay let's suppose and here certain text can be given then 50 we are having your bank account right press enter and here also again the same details we are going to give here right and your business area okay now simply you need to post it once you post look at here guys once you post look at here the document number which is getting generated okay document number 9000 was posted okay now here the thing is why 9000 even though i have given document type sa here i have given document type sa if you guys go inside of it, this this essay in the sense like go to OBA7 OBA7 okay so in OBA7 just give essay document type here let's let me show you double click here number is 01 right against essay document type number is 01 has been given click on number range information and give your company code and if you talk about 01 against 01 we have given which number is 1000 to 1999 your NR status means 1010. What's supposed to be ne next document number supposed to be created, guys? As in it, that is, that was supposed to be 1011. But instead of that, system has ignored whatever number range we have assigned. Directly it has triggered which one, guys? Directly it has triggered X2 number range and that to this one. And from here, the first document number has been assigned. So I told you guys that for sample document whenever you are going to post the sample document irrespective of assignment of whatever the number range we have given against the document type and all system always search in background this x2 document uh, x2 number range itself against your company code if x2 has been created if x2 number range has been created then only sample document is going to be posted okay and then document number will be generated 
okay x to norm is not created then system will throw error this is in background whatever the let's suppose guys whichever transactions we are going to post in background lots of programs lots of things are going to be executed technically right which we like don't know okay so now in that itself this like a sequence of things are getting executed right so now here now here if you refer this uh, sap official website also look at here they have specified quite clearly that look at here if you store a sample document system automatically assign a number to the special document automatically it is getting assigned whatever x2 document number has been created to do this system use the number in number interval that is x2 only right this number range may only be used by system right you can assign you cannot assign it to any other document type x2 cannot be used by any other document type let's suppose they have they have specified here you have to set up this number range in all company code where the sample documents are being used in the sense like whichever document let's suppose for tata steel uh, for like uh, tata chemical if sample document need to be created for those also that for those company code also you need to set up this x2 number range itself it's not like that x2 i have set up for tata motor now x1 i am going to set up for tata steel no there also you have to set up x2 number range itself right so what we have done guys we have created a sample document and the document number is 9000 i'll tell you guys this document number has been created what is the impact on gl account okay we have posted a transactions worth of 500 right in the form of sample document so why not to check just go to f b l 3 n and we'll check we have taken gardening gardening expenses okay 4002 if you execute nothing is happening no item selected it means system is saying that no transaction has been posted as of now it means the sample document whichever sample document we have posted just just now it is not going to update the gl account okay gl account is not getting updated gl balance is not getting updated so it's not a complete transaction guys this is this is a temporary transactions we can say okay this is a temporary transactions and uh, okay so here this sample document whenever sample document is going to be posted guys it doesn't update the gl account it doesn't update the gl balance so it will not because this is going to be created for what this this is going to be used as a template this is going to be used as a reference to post a different transactions so whatever the different transactions are getting posted let's suppose 5000 okay this is the original transaction sample document simply we have created okay that is uh, just for reference as a template we have created right so that is not that is not supposed to be that balance is not getting updated if that balance is also getting updated then what will happen guys then it is going to have impact on your financial statement also because in financial statement this gl is going to be linked okay there is a separate topic called financial statement version uh, if you guys are having idea of that topic then or it's like if you have this if you know this financial statement version then you will come to know what exactly i am explaining so leave it right now so what is happening guys sample document whenever you, you post the sample document then it is not going to update the gl balance okay so it is not a complete document or it is not a complete transaction now now what to do so how to post how to post a transaction by using sample document so use now any transactions let's suppose we are going to use fb0 sorry f02 for posting a normal transactions or is fb50 whatever transaction code you want to use let's suppose fb50 i am going to use fb50 and here uh, now so you just do one thing guys click on uh, go to and post with reference you have to click on post with reference and your document number whatever document number which the sample document number has been set up guys that is 9000 then we are having 
then we are having like it was fiscal year 2019 okay apart from this if you press enter if you press enter look at here everything's are coming your posting key and everything and again press enter directly it has brought to this one so now what is happening guys if the amount like let's suppose we have posted 500 only the amount so if it is 500 only if it is 500 only then you can do like this but as i said amounts are getting changed every time so what will happen guys you have to do once again fb50 or fb02 whichever you want to use again go to and post with reference okay give the document number whatever sample document we have given because we are going to copy this one we are going to use this document number as a reference and look at here we are having like uh, some we do not propose the amount select up a check apply a check mark here in this check box do not propose the amount and then press enter so this time what will happen guys just have a look now here so debit look at here this this posting key is non editable currency uh, company code is not non non editable apart from this if you want to uh, change the text if you want to change the document date posting date can be changed easily because while posting a transactions uh, always document date posting date is going to be changed and amount is going to be changed right press enter so if you press enter look at here debit amount system has not proposed any amount right now instead of that we are going instead, instead of 500 we are going to give 5000 again credit posting key zeal account look at your posting key is non editable and here zeal account press enter if you want to change the text that also can be changed but as i said like is nothing is going to be changed because almost similar document we are going to post right so again 5000 here we have to give right if you want to simulate you can see the accounting entry here now everything is correct and then we can post it now how much time it has taken guys it's 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 within 30 second it can be it can be posted right so because all the details will be as it is simply what we have changed was posted document number 1011 was posted i told you guys now this time sa document type but it has trigger which one look at here and our status 1010 and just now we have posted one document that is normal document right so document number 1011 was generated if you press enter and now if you check the zeal balance now if you check the zeal balance you will come to know here right now you execute so look at here we are having this 5000 but earlier whatever sample document we have posted it was having a different doc document number guys 9000 right and that too that amount was not updated in the zeal account okay so this is how what is happening guys this is how the sample documents are getting posted in the sense first of all you have to what you have to do guys first of all you have to you have to uh, create a number range and that too x to number range only x2 against that whichever range you want to give that can be given it's okay but x2 only is going to be set up that is the one thing and uh, second thing is what guys you have to create a sample document so we can use f01 or f b m1 okay if you want to change this if you want to edit the sample document which is already created then we are having a transaction code f b m 2 f b m 1 let's suppose for creation 2 is for changing and 3 is for display f b m 2 give you a fiscal year here and if you press enter then system will allow you to make the changes most likely in terms of text or something double click here okay so now okay so here whatever changes you want to do you can make it but here what is happening guys it's not like that you are going to change the uh, what to say gl accounts and all okay amount if you want to change if you want to add the cost center profit center right 
text and these things can be edited. So this is how you can edit your sample document. Okay, so now this is the, what to say, uh, I'll come back once again, look at here. The question is, what do you mean by sample document or what is the use of sample document? So sample document is used as a reference for posting, for transaction posting, right? If you want to post, let's suppose I'll just do one thing. Once again, use every 50 itself. Okay. So instead of giving all the details, simply we are going to click on post with reference. And you just need to give your document number here. Which one? That is 9000. This is your sample document. Here you need to give your this one. And you click on do not propose the amount. Right. Simply press enter. And right now I'm going to post amount of 1000 only. Press enter. Again here 1000. And then save it. Okay, now look at here. Sorry, uh, here now you need to click on post button. So look at here, guys. Now 1012 because 1011 was the previous document number. It has taken not even 30 seconds also. So this is how it is going to uh, save itself, it's kind of time saving itself, right? A, a normal document posting, if it is going to take three minutes, four minutes, or two minutes. Okay, real time, lots of things people are going to add, give. So now, it has been done within 30 seconds itself. That is the use of this sample document. Okay, sample document is used as a reference for transaction posting. Now, we'll come back on the question which was asked during interview. Can we reverse a sample document? Okay, I'll tell you guys, reversal. If you guys are able to remember the reversal, reversal will happen only of a transaction which is already posted, right? Reversal is possible for a transaction which is already posted. Let's suppose we are having, now click on list and click on refresh. Okay, now we are having two transactions, 5,000 and 1,000. So if I want to post a reversal entry of, reversal entry in the sense, then reversal can be posted against either this document or this document, in the sense this transaction or this transaction. Okay, because reversal means what? System is like, let's like suppose if you talk about this, any document here, just double click. This is the accounting entry. Now, let's suppose what we realized that it, it is wrongly, that amount we have given is wrong. So, we are going to reverse it. Whatever credit is there that is going to be debited and whatever debit is there that is going to be credited. So, GL balance is going to be adjusted, right? And then you can post a new document. You can post a new transaction. Okay. So reversal is possible only for a transaction which is already posted. But is it possible to reverse a sample document? So guys, sample document itself is not a transaction. As I told you guys, this is not a complete transaction, right? Why? Because it doesn't apply, update the GL balance. So what will happen if it is not a transaction. If it is not a complete transaction, if it doesn't update the GL balance, then how we are going to reverse it? So that is the logic here. The sample document cannot be reversed because sample document is not a complete transaction. Okay, it is not getting updated. It is not updating the GL balance. Reversal will happen only for a transaction which is going to update the ZL balance. That is what, if you talk about reversal, reversal means what guys? We are going to rectify our whatever the balances are updated in the GL account. So we are going to rectify, we are going to adjust our GL account, right? Here, let's suppose in our GL account, what is the balance right now? 6,000. I thought, what I found, instead of 500, we have given 5,000. Instead of 500, we are going to, we have given 5,000. 5, so what is happening guys? And that is why totally it is showing 6,000, but generally it was supposed to be 1,500 only. So first of all, we have to reverse this transaction. Reversal means here debit balance is there. Now there is one more line item is going to be created of credit balance. So 5,000 debit and 5,000 credit is going to be nullified. So original, now total 1,000 balance will remain in this jail guys. And apart from this, we are going to post a new transaction worth of 500. So 1,000 plus 500. GL is getting adjusted guys. Okay, so this is what we are going to reverse. But sample document is not updating any balance in GL account. 
so no reversal will be there reversal is not possible so here the answer you have to say can we reverse a sample document no we cannot reverse a sample document however a sample document can be deleted if needed how to delete a sample document guys use transaction code f.57 okay f.57 press enter and here company code give your company code give your document number that is 9000 give your fiscal year and if you want to execute in text test run then click on execute okay so system is saying that total two line items were there of course two line item was there one was for debit was gardening expenses and credit was real uh, sorry bank real click on back button and here look at here test run is there sir so just remove this test run and then you can sorry you can execute here okay update run yes i want to go for update run in a sense like now whatever sample document has been created look at here the program this is a production run in the sense now it got it got deleted okay so if you want to display this sample document like we created 9000 right so how to display f bm3 to display a sample document if you give 9000 now let's see what is happening press center let's see look at here document number does not exist why because we have deleted just now so this is all about the sample document guys here you have to say sample document cannot be reversed sample document can be however sample document can be deleted if needed so that's all guys that's all hope you're having a you know perfect understanding about this topic and all so that's all in this season see you again with a new topic in next video